Well, hello there, fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to yet another video. And today I'm bringing you quite good news. And the news is that apparently Obi Wan Kenobi will appear in the Rogue One spin off Endor, or Andor, which is um, a TV show, upcoming TV show on Disney Plus, which will star uh, the, well, rebel Cassian Andor from the Rogue One film. And it is clearly going to be about the Rebel Alliance set before, obviously, A New Hope uh, and before um, the Rogue One. But what is more important uh, is that it is going to star Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I made a video about the fact that um, two of these episodes are going to be written by George Lucas. And now we've got more good news. Now, of course, as I have said many times before, it seems that Lucasfilm is really representing the Force because there seems to be this sort of balance between the dark side and the light side of the Force. Uh, one week it seems uh, that we've got only bad news like Kathleen Kennedy still being alive or the firing of Gina Carano. And then we've got good news such as these, you know, uh, George Lucas coming back to Star Wars. You don't, you want McGregor reprising his role not only in his own Kenobi spin-off series but also in Rogue One. Now, on a different website, I, I read that people were bitching about this fact, this news, because uh, it will undermine um, Obi Wan Kenobi's story in the Star Wars because he was obviously supposed to be in exile, looking after Luke on Tatooine. And now they think that he has to leave Tatooine, which he wasn't supposed to, because he was, you know, besides um, looking after Luke, he was supposed to be learning um, from Qui-Gon Jinn, who came back as a Force ghost. Now, I say this is bullshit to, to think like this. Now, the fact that Obi-Wan Kenobi will appear in the show does not mean that he has to leave Tatooine. Why couldn't Cassian Andor or some other rebels some other characters from the show come to Tatooine and meet Obi-Wan Kenobi. We've got years and years and years of untold stories of many characters, including Obi-Wan Kenobi. And let me tell you one thing, each and every second uh, I can enjoy new material with Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi is pleasure for me. Now, there is of course one danger, and that's the fact that, D that Kathleen Kennedy's Disney Lucasfilm the bloody fucking mouse will destroy it by their agendas. Uh, you know, like they destroyed the entire sequel Disney trilogy. Like they annihilated Gina Carano. But then again, look at The Mandalorian. That's a tremendous success. And the finale of season two is uh, the highlight of the last year for me, most certainly and definitely. So, yeah, um, the only thing that can fuck it up is Disney's agenda. And uh, they're focusing on inclusion, representation, diversity and shit like that. But if they indeed focus on good storytelling, good writing, if they don't cuck up Obi-Wan Kenobi as they cucked up Luke Skywalker in the Disney trilogy, I am excited about that. Of course, I am still boycotting Disney. I'm still not giving them my money. But we can get around that, can we? So yeah, that's my take on the entire matter. What do you think, my friends? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be only glad to engage in an intelligent and educated discussion. And because YouTube is not very fond of free speech oriented YouTubers such as I am, please don't forget to like this video if you liked it or dislike this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe to this unimportant channel of an unimportant geek talking about unimportant things if you haven't done so already. And they'll be really all my friends. See you soon. And remember, whoever you are, wherever you come from, may the force be with you.